Hi there, Marcus Caballero here. Welcome to my channel. And we've got some more racing today from Indianapolis Motor Speedway in the Ginetta GT5s. Uh, it's against the AI today, uh, just for a little different uh, 12 laps. We've got uh, 27 uh, AI on track. They're at 105% skill level, 75% aggression and I'm starting last on the grid. I've already done a couple of races uh, just for practice so we're going to just straight into a race just for a, a change of scenery and a change of car. Much as I love GT3 cars and Monza there's only so much of it you can take um, and that seems to be the default option as far as online lobbies go so I just fought for a bit of a change I would uh, do some uh, content where I'm racing the AI, which you you can sometimes forget can be fun. You you you, you do have to sort of fine tune their skill level and their aggression settings uh, to certain tracks uh, just to make it competitive for yourself. Um, but yeah, it can be a lot of fun. So. As I said, I, I did a few races already in the, the Ginetta, um, so I made some, some changes to the setup. Um, as far as the tyres, brakes and chassis go, I think I adjusted the tyre pressure slightly on the front just to stop them overheating. Uh, that was about it. Um, suspension, again, just pretty much default to what it is when you first get the car. Now. The dampers, I was having real problems with uh, the back being really twitchy, so I increased the rear compression and I decreased the rebound, uh, which seemed to help a lot as far as stabilising the car at the rear, um, just going, entering into a corner. Um, the gearing, it's not ideal around here, you max out in sixth. Um, but there's no way to to lengthen it, unfortunately. So that is what it is. We down the, the start finish straight. We we do hit the limiter. Um, if you try and adjust the final drive, it it's too much. You, you you don't even you just about make it into sixth gear down the back straight, which is crazy. So oh yeah, and then just on the differential the bias ratio power I changed it from 4.0 to 1 down to 3.0 to 1 um, although they don't have much power um, the Ginettas they can get a bit wild at the back uh, so just adjusting that uh, made it more stable under acceleration out of out of the start could be tricky from where you are to try and stay out of trouble but stay alert try and make up some places off the grid so here we go for 12 laps put it in the first got the clutch dipped pop the clutch pop the clutch again didn't quite work out how i wanted it but we're, we're away nonetheless now the ai can be incredibly slow as far as uh, the first lap especially for well, the first corner especially so with full damage on we're, we're just looking to stay out of trouble we've already made our way up to 23rd so wow we're much on there cutting the corner there <coughs> so we're going for a little sneaky move up the inside there knock it down to second we normally come around there in third but obviously there's a lot of traffic at the minute just the same as here a lot of traffic but we get a nice run through and we're absolutely gaining places and over fist at the minute we're up to 17th and we're down into this uh, section 7, 8, 9, 10 a little bit a bit of contact through there between a couple of cars. We're up to 16. We managed to stay out of trouble. We've got the inside line around here. Uh, he's still there on our left-hand side. But we're going to have the inside line 
down into this right hander. Oof, get a little bit of a little bit of a tap there. Oh, got on the power too early there on the curb. Just spun me round. Uh, sorry, Mr. Blue Car. But there's lap one over, and we're up to 14th from 28th. So, not bad going. Not bad going at all. So, as you can see, 129 is all we're getting out of her, and we're, we're on that limiter as we break heavily down into turn one. through five and six, get a nice straight line through there, using as much curb as we dare. Of course curb is notoriously dangerous in project cars too, they will kill you. Now this is coming up as possibly my favourite bit of the circuit, not turn seven, I struggle into here, but uh, eight, nine and ten, having made the adjustments to the car setup, it just the car handles lovely through here and I can gain so much time on the AI through there as you can see we get a, a great exit out of turn 10 and we're reeling in 13th place and break hard down into 12th down into turn 12 and then an awkward little corner here turn 13 it's, it's more than 90 degrees so I kind of want to sweep out and then sweep in, try and make that corner as shallow as possible and then it's the mad dash down the back straight <coughs> excuse me so absolutely on the limit 400 metre board, we break heavy not as heavy as the 13th, he was not giving up that place So I, I didn't race for a, well, a good, good three, four weeks. Um, started off, I, I had a bad back, and with the, with the wheel and the, the force feedback settings I've got, it, it wasn't doing my back any good at all. Um, and I kind of just, I was frustrated with. I kind of reached a plateau as, as, as far as my, my racing went on, um, on online lobbies um, and it, it always tended to be GT3s at Monza or Red Bull Ring or Catalonia and much as I enjoy it, 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 it gets a little boring so I just felt no desire to race unfortunately so, so yeah, sort of three four weeks of non racing and um, I, I dipped my toe back in earlier in the week and you kind of rediscover why it is you play this game because it's enjoyable I think when it starts to become a grind it's, it's time to just, just leave it alone for a while um, but yeah, really enjoying these, these Ginettas they're, they're a great deal of fun corner was mine so so we're up to 11th we're chasing down this this pack in front of us now it should but it's quite a nice run there in turn four three five and six and we've got the slipstream he gets a little out of shape there that's cost him uh, looks like we're passing two teammates there and then down into turn seven, brake hard at the 400 meter board, he came from a long way back with a lunge there, through eight, nine, and then you want to just flick it back in for ten, miss the apex, not ideal, we still get a nice run, and a nice place there, 
takes place, sorry. Wow. He came from a long way back again there. The AI seemed to run on the fast in, slow out as far as these corners go. So we're battling for seventh here as we come down the back straight. Edge past, 400 meter ball, break hard, down to second. Oh, we get a bump there. That's P7, good job, keep it up. That was nicely defended, that corner there. We kept the inside line. We didn't really have anywhere to go. This first you've done yet. Great job. So we line him up for this down at turn seven, but no, he just outbreaks us. I don't know where the AI finds the ability to break like that. Uh, maybe it's just me. I, I think it's it's a part of my my racing skills yet that I need to work on uh, braking. I don't know whether it's I need to adjust the brake pedal mapping on my G29 but yeah it's 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 a part of my my driving that I, I really need to work on especially online as well. But that being said we're up into sixth now we're trace, chasing down the red car in fifth place. Okay, so that was that was better breaking there. Slowly, slowly we're getting there. Just about beginning to pick up a bit of a toe for him. No. Oh, oh. Yeah. Getting on two wheels is a bad idea. That was much better through that combination there. Curb there as you dare, of course, reflecting on the fact that two wheels is bad. And we've got a comfortable second and a half gap behind us to seventh. So we're all about chasing down the final top six. Absolutely killing the engine as you can hear on the limiter. You follow him in there, he gets a better entry there. We get a much better run through turn four there, and we should be able to pick up the the slipstream now down this back straight now moving to the outside because I, I figure he's going to outbreak me down here anyway and uh, I'll line him up for an overtake in at turn 10 so not the ideal line through there unfortunately but we come back in just put the, the apex there and we've got a nice run on him and we're now it's the, the 
the, the drag round turn 11 down into 12 and we got past him comfortably and I expect him to come back and ah, oh, ah, oh, driving in my mirrors that's what happens don't drive in your mirrors got enough to get past him down here probably not having said that off off that's probably the best braking I've done into that corner all race pleased with that So having dispatched fifth place, he seems to have fallen a long way back. I don't know whether he got it all wrong through the next the next couple of corners, but no time to worry about that. We're now busy hunting down the top four. And can we can we hook up a better run through there? Yes, that's much better. Much better. Pulled close on a second on them through there. side I think we've got the legs on him though yep we're just going to edge forward now to defend down into this corner down on the brakes oh wow wow that was a great move there by the yellow and black car I, I don't think I, I helped myself particularly I missed the apex completely on the turn in there but fair play to him nowhere to go through here just have to hold off We had a nice run on him there, but we had to check up slightly as uh, we had nowhere to go. And now it's going to be a who's brave enough. Well, yep, he was. Three laps to go, fifth place from the back of the grid. Got it all to do. Car's holding up well though. We've managed to avoid picking up any damage. The tires are in are in good condition. They're they're a little hotter. Well, not hotter. Uh, the the pressures are a little higher than I'd like at the front, but they're holding up well. We just got ourselves called up on the curb there a little on turn four. Didn't help us through the chicane onto the back straight. But we're in the tow and hopefully we can set him up through this eight, nine and ten corners. Yep. They're falling over themselves a little bit there and we, we managed to get get the move done on him there take advantage of the fact but then we just completely mess up turn 10 there completely miss the apex got it all wrong and again 
again. Well, we already know we've lost out to him down here, so I'm not going to try too hard. I'll just try and keep with him. got the slipstream, duck out, hit that limiter, so 400, break real hard, down to second, nope, not enough. For the, for the overtake down here into turn seven. Yeah, gave him nowhere to go. Oh, and third place, got it wrong. Just on the exit of seven there, and we took advantage of it. So we're up to third. Sometimes you need to just be proactive, and if you see a chance, go for it. So now, as we come round the last couple of corners onto the final lap, we're in third place, looking for the win, certainly believe we've got the pace. Okay mate, let's see if we can get him on this lap, trying to force an error, he's under big pressure now, come on, you can That's take second him. place. Now we need to defend, defend, defend down into here. 400, break hard. Move over to the right hand side. We get a little nudge there in the back from him. Pushed us off line slightly. And he's, he's come back round the outside of us. Now he's got the inside for turn four. We're gonna, well, we're gonna take advantage of this fact. He got himself caught up on the curb a little bit there. With the inside line for five and six. Now we're chasing down first. Oh. A little more cautious than I would like to have been through there. But we've got a good run through here and turn 10, we just hooked that up. Absolutely lovely. Got a run on him now, and he whoa, he moves across there, and we're down into this right hander. Oh, we took a clip there. Oh, and he's uh, I don't know what, quite what happened, but he's 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 lost it, and we come through into first place. Not not the cleanest of overtakes, but. I don't quite know why he made quite such a meal of it. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed that, that little race there. Uh, give us a like if you did. Um, and once again, thank you for watching. Thank you.